Hi guys, my name is Budget with Zoe. Welcome to my channel and thank you for clicking on yet another video for those of you that are returning. And for those of you that are new, welcome. I film budgeting videos and upload them on a weekly basis and I would love for you to join the community. So today I'm gonna to run through my April cash stuffing. So these are one of my most favorite um, videos to film and I can't wait to show you where I'm gonna stuff my money this month. If you haven't watched it already, make sure you check out my April budget with me. That There I will run through all of where my money is going. Today I'm going to just do the cash stuffing part and just show you where I am putting my money. Um, if you want to see how I budgeted it, then pop onto that one. I'll try and leave a little um, token or card up the top um, for you to click on easily. I am going to um, just film here... Uh, a little bit just to show where I've allocated my money on my Monzo account. So just briefly, um, I do use Monzo to use my food spending and also my fuel. And I also pop £20 on there for my lifetime ISA, which at the moment is undecided whether that will eventually be a housing or house deposit or if that will be a private pension. So for now, I'm not sure what I'm using that for. I will see where life takes me. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting a little bit away in that every month. So here I'm showing I've got £150 allocated for food. Really, really simple to use Monzo. And those of you that may be interested, I do have a referral code, which will um, give myself £5. And I believe you get rewarded with £5 as well. But I've had my Monzo account for nearly five years now, I believe. And I have no issues with it. And I love it. So um, definitely check it out if you're looking for a new bank. Your eagle-eyed viewers out there will see that my um, fuel card or pot is empty. That's because I took advantage of, one, my car being on pretty much fumes again, um, thanks to the fuel prices the last week or so. Um, and I made sure that I just filled it up. So I'm, I'm just interested to see where that how far that £50 gets me through the month so I can get a real idea as to whether I'm going to need to budget more money. Um, so stay tuned to find out in my weekly check-ins whether I go over that and I need more fuel money. Um, hopefully not. I do only travel about 12 miles a day to work, 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. So um, yeah, fingers crossed I'm not going to go over budget in that category already, but that is empty for now, so we will see. And then my lifetime ISA, you can see there, I've got £20 ready for when Moneybox take out the £20 direct debit. So that's my Monzo account. Hopefully I've managed to edit that in so you guys can see that. And I'm just going to run through my cash stuffing straight away. No, I'm not. <laughs> There's one thing missing here, Zoe, and that is the cash. So let me get that cash ready for you guys. So here it is, all of the lovely cash. Um. I'm super, super grateful that I was able to receive a pay rise and a bonus this month. It has helped me now stuff a lot of my envelopes, which you are going to see over this video and also the next video where I am putting that money. So let me just shut up and um, get to the cash counting because I know that's the most interesting part. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. Pop that in there. So we've got 40 pounds in 10. And then we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60. It says 360 in 20 pound notes. Those of you that may be wondering, I do just get my cash from a cash point. I don't actually go to a post office or a bank because I don't really have the time working a nine to five at the moment. So I just have to take potluck on what the cash point gives me. Um, those of you that may be interested actually as well, um, I have once before only got £20 notes and I know I needed some £10. So um, I withdraw from the um, tes Tesco cash point where I get my food shop from. Um, and if you go to the customer service part or like the refund desk, they will exchange the money for you so they can open the till and exchange the money. So uh, the lady there was super, super helpful. Um, obviously, that may just be my store, but definitely um, those of you that, you know, use cash points at supermarkets for convenience, um, just ask at the till and I'm sure they'll be able to give you the change that you require so that you can stuff your envelopes how 
you so much. So let's get into the fun part. So I've got my three um, categories here that I carry around with me all the time. So first off, we've got spending. Oh, I need to get my other folder actually. Let me pop that here. So what I'm gonna do from this month, because I have more in my budget, which I'm really, really grateful for. So I have a mini spending envelope, which is super cute. And then I kept my, I'm gonna call it like mummy and baby. <laughs> so this is my mummy envelope. And what I'm gonna do is I've allocated myself for spending for the entire month, 80 pounds. Let me count that out, 20, 40, 60, 80. But how I'm gonna split that because I get paid monthly is I'm gonna split that by four basically. Now I know not all months are four week months and some are five weeks. However, I'm just gonna roll with it and see how it works for this month. So I'm gonna pop 60 pounds into this envelope here. And then the other 20, I'm gonna pop in, oh, look at that, it's like battered. <laughs> oh dear. That's gonna make me wanna spend that now because it's not pristine. Oh well. Um, so I'm gonna pop 20 pounds in my first week of April. Um, so we'll pop that in there. So what I'll do is when I come to my weekly check-in, I'll then allocate myself another 20 pounds to put in with whatever is left in that envelope. And I'm just gonna roll it over week on week. So I have that money. Um, we're gonna do exactly the same with fun. So 20, 40, 60, 80, that is getting 80 pounds as well. I don't know why, but I'm really struggling with this folder today. <laughs> so 20, 40, 60 is going into this one. Oh, and by the way, guys, I am gonna be filling out my trackers off camera because I'm just conscious this could be a long, long video. Um, I personally like watching long videos, but um, they actually, I actually put them on when I'm doing like housework and stuff and it's really motivating because whilst I love seeing people actually cash stuff like sometimes you can just I feel like you engage more with what the um youtuber or budgeter is saying rather than um you know looking at the money all the time and I also feel like sometimes looking at the amount of money can be quite it puts a lot of pressure on if someone's budget is like vastly different to yours so you know, you can still be inspired by someone and not overwhelmed if they're like cashing a lot more money than you. So, yeah, obviously, it's really important to always remember that your budget is your budget for a reason. So don't forget that. Um. Anyway, I'm babbling now. So in miscellaneous, I am going to just pop £20 straight away. Maybe I'm going to do two tens, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do two tens. So two tens are going to go into miscellaneous. So they are all stuffed and I leave my budgeted envelope blank and what I do is I pop money into that if I know I'm going to use that money out of one of my sinking funds. But yeah, let me pop this back in here. Hopefully I'm in shot. <laughs> Still very much getting back into the swing of filming. So apologies if this is a bit all over the place. So that's my um, purse that I take everywhere with me. All stuffed now for the next week. What have we got next? So let's open up this one and hopefully it behaves. So obviously we've already stuffed spending and fun. So next up we've got clothes, which I'm going to treat myself and I'm going to pop £50 in there. So we've got 20, 40, 50. Date night, we have got £40 allocated to date night. So 20, 40. Can see a lot of these are empty from last month guys so i am trying to give them a little bit of love this month and stuff them back up again so we've got uh 20 pound going to gifts off the top of my head i can only think of one gift i may need to buy this month which won't be particularly large so hopefully that will um cover it and then personal ah yes so I've got a hairdresser's appointment and a dental appointment at the end of the month. So I need to stuff this to 60 pounds. So I'm gonna put 30 in there, but I'm gonna swap out the 10 and pop in to 20. So we've got 20, 40, 60. And there we are. 
Next up, we've got home, so I'm going to pop £30 in there. But again, I'm going to take out the 10 and pop in 40 So just be doing a bit of a bill exchange while I stuff today. So we've got 40 in home now. So for home, I we really need some new towels. So I think I'm going to treat ourselves to some new towels and also maybe some new bedding as well, just for the new season. And then in events... Last but not least, we are popping £50. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, plus the 20 that's already in there. So that is £70. I feel like I stuffed that really quickly. <laughs> but it's because um, in this video, I'm just stuffing my short term sinking funds. So I will just bring in my budget. So I have only stuffed my short term sinking funds. I have left this binder out of the budget because I was surprised by how much money I got this month because I was due at my pay rise and also a bonus. So I wasn't sure how much I was going to get. So if you want to see how much I've been able to stuff into my long term sinking funds, which is really exciting, um, please do tune in for the next video because I think you're going to be really excited. or I hope you're going to be excited to see how much money I've managed to stuff into a lot of my long-term funds that I'm really, really happy about. Um, but yeah, that was today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate it may have been a bit short and sweet, but um, yeah, I've made my money go where I need it to go. And I'm excited to see how um, the increased budget on my cash envelopes goes for me. So that's everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, definitely leave a comment below, um, especially if you make budgeting videos yourself. I would love to check out your channel. And those of you that have returned and stayed to the end of the video, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.